Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm does this. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you everything that I picked up from the London 2022 Pokemon World Championships Pokemon Center pop up shop. But before we get into that, I have a little bit of a vlog style video from the last day and a bit of footage from the first day of the Pokemon Center pop up shop. So, without further ado, let's get it. Hello, ladies and Just finished the graveyard shift, about to head into the Pokemon Center pop up shop for the second time. Just got done with the first queue, going into the pop up center queue now. Will there be anything left over on the last day? Got myself my gigantic. Shopping bag. This is the queue for the damage counters and the V star marker. Cover one. Can I get a blue one? Yeah. Can I get a checkerboard one, please? Can I get a blue one? Hey, there's people in front of you, I'm sorry. Can I get a checkerboard one, please? 
Checkerboard, dummies, counters, and dice. Looks like this is the merch wall. Another side of the merch wall. Juniper tournament collections, plushies, Pickle V Union, Alone and V Star, V Star. This is the pink line. LMV, Pokemon Go boxes, some Pokeballs, on the first day it wasn't like this, it was way different, more chaotic, more chaotic, more exclusives now, it's all of the main stuff that no one wants. That was full of Pikachu plushies on day one. That was full of Roserade on day one. All 
of these plushy stands were stacked with booster boxes as well. Just plushies left over. A quick sneak peek of what's, of what's coming to the channel soon guys all of these up until here the quick ball and a cherish ball quick sneak peek coming soon and that was my experience from the london 2022 pokemon world championship pokemon center pop-up shop as you can see from the last day there was no exclusives left just the coin v-star mark and damage counter box they also had the skate decks but that was about it. Everything else was pretty much regular stuff that you can find from the Pokemon Center online. Plushies, few TCG products and stuff like that. But and then you saw from the first day B-roll footages that on the first day there was quite a bit. But anyway guys, without further scooby ado, let's get into the products that I bought. So starting things off, this is what you got on the last day for free. It's a screen cleaner. Decent as a collectible. It's London 2022 logo for Championships 2022. Just a screen cleaner. I'll keep it sealed. All of this stuff I'm probably going to keep sealed, guys. Next up, we have the Pikachu plush in this London attire. Slightly ripped at the bottom. Half of them were unsealed. Some of them, I don't know if you can actually hear me with all of this. Half of them were unsealed. Some of them were actually sealed. I'll show you in a second which one I, might, I didn't manage to get sealed. But that's the Pikachu plush. This is the Ray, Rosary plush. I tried to find a sealed one, couldn't find a sealed one, but doesn't matter anyway. It's fine. So this is the Rosary plush. There you go. Here are the coin damage counters and V star marker. I'm gonna keep this sealed. In the cellophane but we have this one as well these were the only thing left on the last day which i'm surprised about i'm surprised all the exclusives the skate decks were a bit pricey so that's probably why but these i'm surprised these actually lasted to the last day they must have had plenty of stock so we got one of those and we also have a second one in a different style this one's like a checkerboard black and white sort of i don't know i'm gonna say grungy kind of graffiti style here is the London figure figurine, Pikachu figurine. Let me actually unbox this one since there's no seal on it for you guys. But here you go. It's quite hefty this figurine, it's quite nice as well. This was nicely made. And that's the figurine guys. Here's the playmat and the playmat bag. That's one side. Sorry about the mic. That's the other side. I should have taken this one out first so I can lay the playmat without all of the stuff on the playmat itself. Alright, so here's the... I guess I should show you on the webcam. Yep, there it is. Hopefully you guys can see it properly. I would have laid it flat down, but I guess I can get rid of everything and lay it flat down, but there you go. Not an exclusive, but I also picked up this Pikachu plush, the Sitting Cuties plush. You also got this for free on the first day of purchase. It's a travel pass holder. There you go. And last but not least, this Pokemon Sky Blue London 2022 World Championship t-shirt. 
which I'm also going to keep sealed as well. I mean, there's a rip in the hole there, I might as well open it. Now nah, I'll keep it sealed. Yeah, I'm going to keep everything sealed, guys. There you go. And there's one more item which I'm very excited about. Give me one second, guys, let me clear up. I literally don't know how else to show you this apart from showing you on the webcam but this I managed to pick up only reason I actually picked it up because it was £130 whereas on the actual online store it was £200 so buying it at £130 in a physical pop-up store in a physical pop-up store was worth it definitely I, could, I couldn't justify paying the £200 but the price at the physical pop-up store I had to pick it up, I had to this is the Leon and Charizard figurine so you get a Charizard and a Leon I will be unboxing this on the channel as well guys in another video if you want to see that like, subscribe turn notifications on so when I do unbox it you get to see it there you go, it's such a beautiful item, such a beautiful item, a beautiful box. Can't wait to unbox this guys, I can't wait to unbox it. But anyway, guys, that was my London 2022 Pokemon World Championships Pokemon Center pop-up shop haul. If you enjoyed the video, if you stop with me to the end, if you want to see this unboxing, like the video, subscribe, turn notifications on for more, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.